Good morning, everyone. I want to share with you a thing that I discovered, how to use telemetry deck for um, your websites without actually having to use the weird telemetry deck query language, it's called. You see, I've set up a new website, my own, christiantietze.de, and I've, I've reached zero individual people this year. That's very encouraging. Apparently, the, the user user tracking and event stuff doesn't work for page views on, on the web tracker because, as we can see here, there, there have been page views and we're going to use these and we're going to filter them by referrer. But instead of using the referrer, the, the code to filter and highlight referrers, I'm going to show you a more pleasant way to set this up. So first, to get there, you need to add a new dashboard. I don't know what kind of dashboards you need and use, but I'm going to call mine dashboard. I have no need for multiple, at least not at the moment, so I have no clue how to call them. And this, this I'm going to call organic traffic, because I want to filter my referrers for organic traffic sources, which is links that I'm interested in to see, maybe discover people in the community that I don't know yet and uh, who link to my blog, so I can check them out as well. And advanced query, that's where you enter the code, and we don't want to do this today in the TQL query language, which um, curious, cu curiously would spell out to telemetry deck query language, query language. Anyway, let's use, uh, let's, yeah, pick values breakdown. That's the visual equivalent, and it's much more easy to set up. This is a donut chart. It's, I believe, using the yeah, system version. Um, it's mixing all the systems, so you get macOS 10.13, 10.15, and whatever this is, This these long numbers. I can't, ah, there, I can, can have on this. I, I don't know what this is, but uh, yeah, this is not useful. I want to filter by referrer. And also the donut chart um, will, will get in the way uh, in a second. I can now still hover, but once you uh, pick monthly granularity, uh, now you get this. So there's, you know, if, if this happens, you know you're in the wrong mode. You need to switch to table, which is the actually useful part where you see the traffic filtered by referrer, or no, sorted by referrer count. Counting signals, uh, that's a default. This is correct because we want to check every page view, not just every, I don't know how you would count users in this context, but we want to check out every page view so we can see where people click around on the website. Granularity is right, but at the top there's Google, but nowadays you don't get the yeah the, the search term anymore, so this is noise. DuckDuckGo and Yandex are noise, Reddit, I don't know, Bing, Bing is noise, search.brave.com is noise, Kagi is noise. So we want to filter out search engines and also this empty referrer, which is probably given the high count, which is probably native apps, like, like mobile apps. If you're on Ice Cubes, it's browsing your Mastodon and, and you only subscribe or follow me, and I'm posting links to my website and you follow a link there, then you will count as a, yeah, there will not be a referrer because Ice Cubes, the native app, will show a new browser window and it's basically equivalent. I believe, at least, it's basically equivalent to typing in the URL into your browser's location bar, which nobody does, I guess. I mean, I do it to check out my website, but, well, regular folk don't. So this is useless, and search engines are useless. We're going to replicate the filters that are shared and then tweak them a bit. First, let's filter out for the empty thing, which is this regex. And we need to select the referrer here. And now... Boom, non-empty referrers. But also, I want to filter out all the Googles. So if it's not empty and, I need to click here. I need to be very careful because I mix this up all the time. And it's not Google dot whatever. Now we get all the Googles only. And now we wrap this in a negation. All right, now the Googles are gone, but also I want to filter DuckDuckGo and Yandex. So, since this is a not operation, we can wrap what is being negated in an OR condition. Because Google or DuckDuckGo and the negation of that is the same as the negation of Google and DuckDuckGo in formal logic or Boolean logic. 
Okay, not match at least one of these. And now we add a new one here. And that's going to be also referral. Dr. Go. Just by the domain name, it's very unlikely that I need to specify the no, I can't click here to create siblings. I have to click here to create children. What was it? Yan Yandex. Ooh. Also referral. And then there was bing.com. Don't forget to escape the literal period. Search.brave. Finally, I believe I've seen Kagi. There. Yeah. Kagi. Oh, no. No, no, that's a typo. All right. Now we have at least one of these. And not so not one of these you could also say and when I scroll around all these search engines are gone startpage.com what's that I don't know t.co still people coming from Twitter all right so this this doesn't look like it looks like a lot of also maybe useless stuff like my own domain do I really want to track my own domain because this is useful to see you know if Let's let's take this one. If people come from Planet Emacs Live to get to my post about Emacs Modus themes, and then from there click to some I don't know the the Emacs hashtag or the landing page or I don't know, then this will be the referral of the next page they visit. So to construct a funnel or follow 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 signals around that would be useful. I'm not doing it here, um, but I'm also not sure if I maybe want to see which pages of mine are. Um, not not uh, terminal pages like people visit them and then leave, but which are leading to more traffic to my own page. So this is indicating oh this post uh, prompted eighty three people to browse browse some somewhere else on my website and not leave. That's interesting and yeah that's that's good enough for me to leave it there. And now the dashboard has this overview the table view that we just created and you could create a new insight based on the um, search engines if you want to maybe let's try it real quick if you want to see which search engine is most popular i'm i'm improvising here donut chart looks good granularity hmm. also monthly referrer now it gets weird and now we want to filter by regex for google dot something or maybe duck, duck, go. Oh, I believe I haven't picked the correct dimension. <laughs> non selected. I don't know what happens if you select none, but it still saves. Okay, so it's now Google or duck, duck, go. And the donut chart is it's it's, it's not not very donutty. Eh? Maybe the monthly granularity is throwing things off. Yeah, you, you get a donut chart here. I'm not sure what happens if you switch to different granularities. Why why is it becoming a bar chart then? Yeah, anyway. So I'm, I'm leaving it as an exercise to the reader to um, add all the other search engines. But you see, oh, Google.com is uh, the majority. And then here's DuckDuckGo. So that's your search traffic. And of course, I haven't used Bing, uh, Edit Bing, Kagi, or all the others. And this, this could be the start of an interesting dashboard. I have not worked with, with funnels. Don't know what, what you could do with this to maybe track how people reach your web store. I know A-B testing. So again, exercise for the reader. Uh, how do signals change over time? Could also be interesting to see how people browse your website. I don't know. I don't know. I have to play around with this. This is what I set out to do, like show all the organic traffic refers. And here, you, as a bonus, you also get the search engines. Telemetry deck is very easy to integrate. You see here that that's the script. You need the app ID and then um, that's it. You need to upload the file or the, all the files, plural, and you're good to go. And Telemetry also has virtually no consequence for 
adding telemetry has virtually no consequence for your privacy policy because they don't track any personalizable data. So it's very minimal, nice to use. And the team, Lisa and Daniel, seem, seem to be very, very, very cool people. I've listened to them. This, this is a parasocial relationship. I don't know. But I've listened to a podcast where they were invited and I'm also following both on social media. And they, they seem nice and likable. So that's telemetry deck, web tracking, referrals, organic traffic and search engines for you. Check this out for yourself. It's very easy to set up a telemetry deck account. You get a lot of signals for free with a free account to get started and play around with this. And also this is maybe the easiest way to play around with telemetrydeck.com, the software because integrating this into an app, putting the app on the app store, you know, that's more work. And starting with a website, I believe is a good starting point to get used to the platform and then evaluate what you can do with it with real data. So telemetry deck can recommend very happy and here's how you can set it up for web. Have a nice rest of the year. Merry Christmas, uh, happy holidays, uh, happy in between the years, weird couple of days where nothing really happens season. Um, yeah, and see you in the next one.